so I've had a couple requests regarding this uh, grinding fixture jig that I put together a while ago. It's copied off of a design that I must have seen online. It's straightforward, um, just made of sheet metal stock welded together and then uh, bolts make up the uh, joining connections. Uh, all the surfaces are surface ground, um, which makes it nice and So with, they've been surface ground and lapped lightly with probably 1200 grit paper. Um, very nice sliding fits on everything. With a thin film of oil, it sticks well. On this component, I ground out the center section and then use it with these uh, set screws as a clamping device. Um, and it's nice heavy material. Uh, this is all, everything was bar stock, um, so this was just round bar stock that I sliced up and welded, and then these were just flat bars. Uh, feels like half inch, hot rolled steel. This was, looks like it was cold rolled. Uh, I can't recall, I made this so many years ago. Um, but again, all the surfaces are just bolted together with a half inch bolt, some plate, welded. I did smooth it a little bit before I painted it just to make it look better. The person that I think that I copied this from online, he did a much better job. Uh, keep in mind that this device is similar or based on uh, a standard Rockwell Univice, which is a, a pretty common grinding fixture. The only problem is a good one, if you get an original Rockwell one, they go for a minimum of $200, it seems, online, used, and they're not always in the best condition. This was so simple to make. Um, took me a couple days to do it, probably, just messing around. Um, okay, so this arm, these are ground at 45 degrees very precisely. So this comes apart, another half inch screw with a three quarter inch head. I did use coarse pitch threads, which I probably should have used fine pitch threads, but these are uh, grade 8 uh, McMaster car flange head uh, bolts. So. Again, surface ground finishes um, and slightly lapped, uh, and everything is as square as I can measure it. Um, this component, same same thing. These are almost matching pieces, so it was simple to jig up. The bottom was surface ground. It's got a little tarnish on it from use over the years. Uh, it seats really nicely on the magnetic chuck of the grinder. And again, same situation there for holding it. So that's pretty much it. I was planning on adding graduations around the edge. I may still do that at some point, but it hasn't been a priority. The The hardest part on this was once it was, everything was welded up, I then threw it in my uh, foundry furnace, uh, gas furnace, and brought it up to red heat and let it soak at that temperature uh, for probably a couple hours. Then I let it. I kept it in the furnace and just turned the power, the, turned the gas off on that, and let it cool down overnight. So everything normalized, and actually every piece after it was welded up went through that process twice. So this component was was heated up twice and cooled down twice slowly overnight. So was this piece, and even the base. The base has a welded flange on the bottom. Again, it wouldn't be my project if it were complete. So as you can see, I never painted the bottom and I never did the graduations. I actually never finished um, turning around the edge. I was going to put an index mark, so I left it a little fatter down there than around here. Uh, same situation. So this is just welded on. Um, not the greatest welds, um, but these were uh, sliced off of a large piece of bar stock, uh, faced on the lathe, mounted on here, and then a thick bead was welded around the bottom and then this went in the furnace, heated up cherry red, uh, let it cool down slowly overnight, did that process twice. Once that was done, I refaced both sides of it and then put it on the surface grinder and skimmed it until it was nice and parallel. I added some slots for bolting uh, because I plan on using this on the, the milling machine at some point. Uh, probably not for heavy milling, but for um, maybe just some simple work holding.
say for example you wanted this to be tilted at an angle uh, say 15 degrees or something like that well the easiest way to do that is you use a, a protractor from a combination square this is a Starrett, so it's I, I trust this one uh, I would set this to say you know the 15 degrees you were interested in lock that in place I'm just roughing it here place that on there and then once your bubble is level you're good to go now you can get really fussy with this um, using sign blocks and then if I was doing something uh, that such as grinding tool shapes and things like that for the lathe I would sweep it in with a um, an indicator um, sign blocks or gauge blocks and a sign bar set on this if you've got a nice short two and a half inch one it works well uh, <coughs> or you could use a larger sign plate underneath the base here and that would work as well so let's see if we can get this somewhat centered up so there we go that's centered there and I'm going perpendicular I'm parallel to this surface to this joint now if I was really picky I would take this apart indicate that in start indicating this in and then get the height of it perfect or as well as I can measure uh, with a half tense indicator or something like that so that's all there is to it again um, set it to whatever angle you want and just level the bubble out and you're good to go uh, and what's nice is you know just tighten it up and then bump it around until it's exactly how you want it so you can do some pretty uh, interesting compound angles here uh, to make uh, you know lathe cutter tools and things like that all in one, one shot and again, uh, one thing I forgot to mention was this surface across the top here. These have been surface ground to the bottom of this uh, component. So these are a good reference plane as well. Now you could always set this up and do your measurement that way as well. Uh, you know, the, the more components you add to it, the more prone air. Uh, but that, that would work okay. And then you could always just square it up, you know, whatever way you needed to that way as well.